This video documents a one-year-old urethane being deglossed. The hope is to preserve the epoxy that makes up the decorative body coat. The only aim is to prep the topical urethane so it can be recoated. To promote a uniform scratch pattern and maintain the efficiency of more aggressive pads, water is used as a cutting agent. The job starts with a test of the method statement. The plan is to use water in a 220 grit screen to effectively degloss this floor. This area represents the practical mock-up to verify this approach will work. Closer inspection indicates the urethane is present but no longer reflective. This is precisely the surface needed to satisfy the new urethane. The process commences in moving assembly line fashion. The area is wetted by sprayer, sanded, and vacuumed. About the sanding screens, the urethane being roughened means waste will be produced. Some is suspended by the water, but most loads the screen. To reduce pad waste, the screens were rinsed clean and reused four times. After that, they were thrown out. A few areas had excessive surface damage that needed focused attention. A hand sander and screen do a good job to smooth and prepare these areas. The work area and related mess are managed well enough to prevent damage to adjacent surfaces. Wet cutting can quickly become a liability if the waste is not managed. Here it is recovered soon after it has been used. The total time and material to complete the work was 4 hours and it took 10 screens. And that's about it. Urethane deglossing to prepare for a urethane recoat.